Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. We're back in my kitchen and today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make one of the best rubs you'll ever taste for ribs, okay? You ever went to a barbecue place or went to somebody's house and tasted some ribs and you're like, damn, what is that? These are those, okay? I promise you're not gonna be able to put them down. Let me get all my ingredients together and I'm gonna come back and show you guys how to make the best ribs that you ever ate. All right guys, now that I have all my ingredients together, I'm gonna go through one by one. It's quite a few, so if you want, prepare it before. So I'm gonna do a half a teaspoon of salt, okay? Half a teaspoon of pepper. Half a teaspoon of onion powder. Half a teaspoon garlic powder. Fourth of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Don't put too much because you know it gets heated. Okay, not unless you like it hot, you can add more if you want. Okay, half a teaspoon of Camino. Fourth of a teaspoon of basil. Half a teaspoon parsley. One tablespoon of chili powder, okay? You're gonna mix all this ingredients together, and this is gonna be the rub that you place on top of your ribs, okay? Now I have my ribs right here next to me. I've already washed them. Make sure you wash your ribs, guys. Okay, and get all that ucky blood off of them, okay? Uh, now I have all this nice and mixed together. Just wanna make sure everything breaks down together, okay? Got a few little pieces of chili powder that don't wanna mix in, I guess. Okay, now that you have all this nice and mixed, we're gonna come over to our, our ribs. Make sure you wash your hands for this because you're gonna be putting your hands all over the meat. I have a whole lemon here that I squeezed. Use fresh, don't use the pour in. It doesn't taste the same, okay? Use fresh, okay? Now, you're just gonna kind of pour this over and as you pour it, you're just gonna start rubbing it all over the ribs, okay? This gives it a little zest, okay? Good meat tenderizer too. Makes the, the ribs nice and tender. Okay, now, once you've done that, you're gonna come back in with your rub, okay? And I have a little secret at the end I'm gonna tell you about, okay? You just kinda go all over it like this, start rubbing it, that's why it's called a rub. You rub it in, rub dub dub. Okay, rub it all into your meat, okay? And once you get all this nice and rubbed in, you gotta refrigerate this, okay? You can either marinate it overnight, just make sure you put foil over it, or marinate it for about an hour at least before you cook it, okay? Now you can cook these in the oven, you can cook them on the grill, however you wanna cook them. Campfire, whatever you got, okay? Now, Make sure you don't miss no parts, okay? All little parts matter, okay? Kinda messy. All right, got all this put in. We're gonna pop this in the fridge for about an hour, and then I'm gonna come back and uh, show you guys what it looks like after I take it out, because it'll look a little bit different, okay? All right, guys, so I just took these out the fridge, and as you can see, they actually do look a little bit different, okay? They'll get darker, and they almost look like they have like a little crust on them or something. So I'm gonna pop these in the oven. You're gonna cook these for about an hour and 30 minutes, maybe 20, give or take, depending on how your oven works, at 350 degrees. Now when it gets to the 35 minute mark, I crank it up a little bit to about 375, and then I continue to cook them until the end of that. So I'm gonna pop these in the oven, and then I'll come back and show you how they look at the end, okay? All right guys, so I just took my ribs out the oven. This is the end result. Doesn't, don't they look delicious? Look at that. Okay, now, so once I uh, finished cooking them, I actually did add some about 20 minutes ago right before I took them out. It's a little glaze, like a little butter glaze that I like to put on top. All it is is a half a stick of butter and about a teaspoon of minced garlic. Okay, you don't have to like uh, put the garlic pieces on there. You're just gonna glaze over the butter because just by the garlic sitting in there, 
it gives it some flavor, okay? You're just gonna lightly glaze it over because I already did it once while it was in the oven. And now I'm gonna go ahead and cut them so that you can see how they look when they're cut. This plate is really hot. Now we're gonna cut them and see how they look inside, guys. Let me just pick them up. Look at that. You want to turn them over that way you can see the bones so you know where you're cutting okay and these things just fall apart I'm not even barely putting any pressure on this cleaver okay I'm just gonna kind of move this over back to the pan so I can cut these plate them so that you guys can see how good they look look at that Look at how soft and juicy. See, look at that. Look at this, guys. Look at this. Look at the inside, look how juicy that is. Okay, that's what you're looking for. When you're eating meat like this, you don't want dried up meat. I'm barely putting any pressure on this and it's just going right through. Look at that. Gorgeous. Now I'm gonna plate all of these and feed my family. Y'all take care, be safe in these times. Make sure to try out my recipe, let me know what you think. Okay, look at that, still steaming hot. Y'all take care, bye bye now. <laughs>